SpaceX Starship's first orbital flight, when it comes, will definitely reverberate through the whole world in every aspect. Its sheer scale will draw a clear dividing line between one era of space exploration and the next. This is why Starship's first orbital flight is really even more important than you think. At the southernmost tip of Texas, alongside the Gulf of Mexico, a gleaming stainless steel rocket has been rising from the salt marshes. At nearly 400 feet, the new SpaceX rocket will eventually be taller than the Saturn V that carried NASA's Apollo mission to the moon, and its 39 engines will deliver twice the thrust. For Elon Musk, SpaceX's founder, it's meant to play a key role in one day establishing a human colony on Mars. But everything must start, and the Starship's first orbital test flight, though audacious in scale, will have the task of providing a rich source of data for further trips in the future, Mars. SpaceX intends to collect as much data as possible during flight to quantify entry dynamics and better understand what the vehicle experiences in a flight regime that's extremely difficult to accurately predict or replicate computationally. The data will anchor any changes in vehicle design or conops, that's concept of operations, after the first flight and build better models for us to use in internal simulations. Then this upcoming flight is considered to mark a huge leap for the company. The orbital flight is the first time that SpaceX has produced a full-size prototype with two integrated parts. Together, Starship and Super Heavy will be nearly 120 meters tall when stacked up for the launch. It's the largest monster on the planet ever built. Simultaneously with this mission, unlike the flight test, the altitude is only about 10 kilometers above sea level. At the current plan, Ship 24 and Super Heavy Booster 7 will make the longest flight ever. It will fly out of Earth's orbit, flying three-fourths of the way around the Earth. This is the longest flight. The flight time is the longest as well. If this flight succeeds, SpaceX will further solidify its lead in the space race, becoming the first company to be able to build a fully reusable rocket capable of carrying the largest payload that can conquer all space surfaces. As a result, SpaceX could easily become a reliable partner of other space companies and organizations. Following that, they'll be able to earn additional revenue from signed contracts. And the impact of this important flight on SpaceX alone is unlikely to be enough. Most clearly, the flight could have a far more immediate impact on a space industry that's already been shaken by Elon Musk's ambitions. With the power to carry as much as 100 tons into low orbit around the Earth, his admirers claim Musk is about to transform the economics of the launch business. It's game over for the existing launch companies, says Peter Diamandis, a U.S. space entrepreneur. There's no vehicle out there on the drawing board that could compete. The tactics that turned the Falcon 9 into the era's most widely used rocket are now being applied to the Starship. They echo many of the things that also account for the breakout success of Musk Electric Car Company, Tesla. Undoubtedly, Starship's first orbital flight will still change the economics of getting to orbit, setting a new pricing benchmark against which others are likely to be judged. The Falcon 9 has already brought the price for customers willing to share a launch with others down to $5,000 per kilogram, about a third of what it was before. That price could fall to $1,000 and perhaps even as low as $500 once Starship becomes fully operational. Next, as the biggest customer and their biggest supporter, the first orbital flight of Starship will definitely make a huge impact on NASA. It may be more obvious than ever now that NASA is investing in Starship for the Artemis program. When NASA astronauts return to the moon in a few years, they'll do so inside a lander that dwarfs that of the Apollo era. SpaceX's Starship vehicle measures 50 meters from its nose cone to landing legs. By contrast, the cramped lunar module that carried Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin to the moon in 1969, it stood just seven meters tall. The world has never seen a vehicle like Starship before. If the first Starship flight was successful, the massive spacecraft would open up new possibilities for NASA never before available. This is because Starship could realize the long-desired goal of rapid, low-cost reuse of a launch system. Consider the status quo. The large space launch system rocket under development by NASA will be able to launch 95 metric tons in the low Earth orbit. NASA and its contractors, led by Boeing, will be able to build one a year. The expendable vehicle will launch one payload at the cost of about $4.1 per mission 
and then drop off into the ocean. In terms of lift capacity, the vehicles are similar. Starship and Super Heavy can put about 100 tons into low Earth orbit. However, SpaceX is already capable of building one Starship a month, and the plan is to reuse each booster and spacecraft dozens of times. Imagine the kind of space program NASA could have with the capacity to launch 100 tons into orbit every two weeks instead of a single annual mission for $2 billion a year. Seriously, pause a moment and truly think about this. In their decision to select SpaceX for the Artemis program, NASA officials appeared to recognize that potential. We're looking to see what industry partners could bring in terms of innovation and solutions, said Lisa Watson Morgan, the Human Landing System Program Manager. The emphasis here is on innovation and new solutions to old problems. Put another way, if the Starship orbital flight is successful, NASA no longer needs to pick just one or two things to do in space the agency will be able to do many different things at the same time. Finally, the next-gen behemoth of a rocket's maiden orbital flight, of course, always plays a vital role in the science of space. As SpaceX continues ground test of its Starship Super Heavy rocket ship in preparation for the first orbital flight, the scientific community is starting to wake up to the possibilities that the company's spaceship presents for science-oriented space exploration. With the first orbital test launch of Starship on the horizon, scientists are dreaming about what it might make possible, from trips to Neptune to planetary defense. In other words, SpaceX's massive Starship rocket might unlock the solar system and beyond. And that actually has gotten us excited. Regardless, there are, of course, very good reasons to be cautious. While Starship has flown test flights without the super heavy booster, we've yet to see a full rocket launch. It's an extremely massive and complex machine that could still experience problems in development. SpaceX and Musk, too, have previously been notoriously cavalier, to put it politely, with timelines and goals. And Starship's proposed method to reach the Moon and Mars, relying on multiple refueling missions in Earth orbit, remains complex and untested. Yet, there are also plenty of grounds for excitement regarding what Starship could do if it's successful. From the inner to the outer solar system and possibly beyond, it may well open up a whole new era of space science. Or, as Elon Musk frankly put it, it's really whatever you can imagine. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe, press that like button, share your ideas in the comment section below, because your support motivates us to create more quality videos. And for that, we thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Thank you.